Hey guys, what is up? We are back with another video. I haven't recorded a video in quite a, some while, so I thought I would record one today. Now, today's video, I'm going to be discussing some general coin making tips for FIFA 12. Now, over the past couple of days, I've been making quite a lot of profit on certain players, and I thought I would share some players with you guys, you know. Hopefully you can incorporate these into your, um, into your coin making, and hopefully, you know, make, more, make a few more coins. Now, if you guys haven't been following my Chelsea Road to Chelsea FC um, series on the other community channel, then I would suggest you guys do check it out. I'll leave a link in the description or something to my latest video on there. But on there, I um, someone gives the idea of making a table to um, sort of make it easier to show the players I'm buying, how much I'm buying and selling for, and you know the profit that's being made off of that. So, I've extended this table quite a bit from last time, I believe there was only 3 players on last time, so... Um... You know, I suppose you can just um, search it like this. Now... Um, I will probably be making a pack opening, um, a pack opening series soon. Not a pack opening series, sorry, um, a pack opening session soon, because... Um, the one which I'm doing now is almost over, and... I well, I don't know. It's just it's it's almost over, so I'll have to start making a new one. But of course, I've got to um, keep on top of this uh, road to Chelsea FC stuff. And um, I do want to start an pack opening, but just due to the fact of the um, team of the week this week is ridiculously good. Ne Neymar, um, what's he called? Demba Bar and Robin Van Persie. Three brilliant players. I would love to get any one of them. Of course, I mean, that's just obvious. Um, now, I will sort of go through here, right? Now, the I've got quite a, ha um, a range of them, ranging from about the 350 coin mark to just under 10,000. Now, I would suggest that you um, start with the lower end ones, depend on if you're, you know, if you're just starting. Um, now, we'll start with Owen Hargreaves. Now, Hargreaves... Um, if you can win him on an open bid for 350 coins, doesn't matter what formation, then you'll be able to make um, a good 250 coins. And if you do that with, you know, several Owen Hargreaves at, at any one time, then, you know, you'll get yourself quite a decent amount of money. So, um, I'll, qu I'll see if I can quickly give you an example. England, uh, BPL. So we can specifically search for centre defences mid, and then Manchester City. Now put your bid price at 350 coins, because as you'll see, if you put if you put a bid price at 350 coins, quite a lot of them come up. Even a Gareth Barry's came up. However, if you if you do that with the buy now price, you'll find that nothing comes up because people don't like putting buy nows at really low. So we'll usually do that. Now, basically what you're looking for is um, Hargreaves that is under 20 minutes, so, you know, here's a perfect example, in a decent formation, so four at the back would be good. Um, five at the back sometimes works, but don't go for any with three at the back, because that's just, like, a, a three, five, two, just won't, you, you won't sell it for 600 coins, trust us. But um, do this with quite a lot of players, and you'll end up getting um, a decent amount of profit of about 200 coins per player. Um, might not seem like a lot, but it will get you quite far. From there, I would suggest, um, you know, looking back at this table, I would suggest going for Darren Bent. Now, Darren Bent, if you can get him for under 3,000 coins, that's great, because you can sell him on for quite um, a bit more, a good 4.5 there, which I sold a couple of days ago. Um, you've got to bear in mind that all these players, which I'm showing, um, the prices are for the ones that are in 4.4.2. Or 4 one 2 one 2 I don't think there's much difference in between them two um, formations. Depends on stuff like, you know, Owen Hargreaves, who, you know, there isn't a centre defensive mid in 4 4 2. That's that, you know, that sort of stuff, really. Now, I would suggest doing the Darren Bent thing. I'm not going to show an example because there's no real point. Um, once you're doing the Darren Bent thing, I suppose you would um, do, do that a couple of times until you move up to, you know, sort of Guy or Clichy. Um, Clichy isn't that much of a money maker these days because you you don't make that much profit. However, you know if you're just if you're struggling to make you know an extra 
extra couple hundred, maybe a thousand, then um, look at Gaia Clichy. Now, the main ones I usually do trade with these days um, are Colo Torre and um, Bakary Sanya. Now, we'll search for 1212 this time. Um, Bakary Sanya is a right back, he's French and plays for Arsenal. Now, what you're going to be looking for here is for uh, Baku Sanya, who is less than 9,000 coins. So, we search 9 grand first. Now, 9 grand, 7,000. I may actually consider picking that up, just because... And it's got 11 contracts on it. No, it's good. Um, wait, where is it? There we go. You know, quickly get that, because that will sell for about 9,000, so... That's very good. You know, de depend on considering it has got quite a lot of contracts on it. I might consider putting it up to about ten thousand. Uh, I'll quickly send out the trade pile, but you know that knocked us a bit off topic right there. Oops. Um, damn. Now, um, you, you, it's just little things like that. I mean, if you if you can manage to find a back Sanya on cheap, then it's it's very good. Now, if we move to Colatoria. Um, centre back, he is from Ivory Coast. Um, BPL Man City. Now he's about the same. If you can get him for less than about nine grand, it's it's pretty good. Unfortunately, there isn't because Colatora's price has shot up quite a bit because. Um, you used to be able to get him for about 7,000, sell him on for about 9,000, however, if we don't put a price range at all on him, um, you can see that it does go for quite a bit these days. I might actually consider picking up a 5,000 coin one just for, just for the fact that these guys are going for about 10 grand more, so, you know, there's something to, you know, think about, I guess. Now, I need to hurry this up. Um... A couple of other players, um, if you're looking at Liga BBV, I would suggest looking at Nilmar um, and Giuseppe Rossi. Rossi might go for a little bit less, considering he's usually a centre forward. Um, Nilmar usually tends to go for a bit because he's a striker. Um, nine, nine and a half, 13 grand, you know, make yourself a decent amount of profit there. Um, there's not really much to it, though, in terms of, you know, profit. Like I said, I'm going to link my. Um, latest Ch Road to Chelsea FC in the description, and just to give you guys a little idea, um, bought bought back Rusanya for about seven thousand. Suppose I can stick him back up. Oops, there we go. Um, bought back Rusanya for about seven thousand coins. So I'll stick him up for nine. Oops, nine grand. Oops, shit. And nine two hundred. Just the fact that he's got 11 contracts on him may make him, um, you know, a bit more higher in value, so that should sell, more than likely, anyway. And if it does, I'll have a decent amount of money to work with for um, Happy Art Night. I will probably be making a video on Happy Art Night. I'll be playing quite a lot of matches. I I'm going to try and see if I can bring up my overall record of record um, for my matches right now, because it's very good. Because I'm using a particular squad, which is quite, quite reasonable. I'm not going to show it because I don't know. I just don't think I should. Um, I'm on about 124 grand for match coins, which is fairly decent. And to give you an idea, my um, top rated squad is only 166 rated, so that just says it's a pretty low rated squad. However, it's pretty good, and my trading is now at one minus 102,000, which is pretty good. Well, not really. Goddamn voice crack much. Um, you know, compared to some of the um, people on my friends list, I suppose my trade profit's pretty bad, but meh, whatever. What are you going to do, I guess? Anyway, I'm probably going to end the video here. Um, like I said, please check the description um, for my Road to Chelsea FC. It's been going down quite well. People do seem to like the series quite a bit. Um, I suppose. Uh, I, guess, I guess you're going to see my squad anyway, so. Oh, maybe not actually. No, um, no, you won't. I'll quickly select um, my Chelsea FC squad. Oh god, please don't freeze on us. Right, never mind. I thought my um, laptop was going to freeze. This is currently where I'm at now. You know, um, Bosingwa, Ivanovic, Mikel.
new cut off, which is absolutely great. Um, anyway, that's my squad so far. I'll quickly give you a run through of the players who I plan to get. Petr Cech, um, David Luis, possibly, maybe Alex, depending on who I choose. Ashley Cole, Maluda, Lampard, Drogba, Torres, simple as that. Um, the front three are going to be quite expensive. Altogether, they're probably going to cost as well. Um, I'm not sure, actually. Torres is around 70 grand. I mean, um, Torres is around 60 grand. Drogba is about 70. And Lampard's about 80. So, you know, just think about that. That's a very expensive strike force. Um, Ashley Cole's about 30,000. Petr Cech's about 15,000. Alex slash David Luiz is about 5,000. And the same, and Malou is about 5k as well, so overall I think it's going to be pretty easy. I might consider not getting them in the right formation just because they're much less expensive that way. Plus, um, I've proved with one of my other squads that it's I can't, I can't get 100 chemistry without um, without <clears throat> without um, having everyone in the right formation. So it's pretty it's pretty easy, but. Don't know why there's all these attributes cards on these guys, but whatever. Whatever. Kalu does not have 87 base. He wishes he did, but I bet he, he doesn't. I don't know why I got Kalu. Because if I'm perfectly honest, I would not drop off someone else. Possibly Ramirez, but I don't know. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I guess I'll see you later, and look forward for a um, happy all pack opening tonight. Alright, see you guys later.